Welcome to Crypto Coins, where we review the best coins for you. Welcome to Crypto Coins. My name is Freddie Colton, and I believe in aliens. Not like this kind of alien, fast track from Ben 10, of course, great reference, but this kind of alien, the Astral Pioneers. Now, non-jokingly, I completely legitimately believe that aliens are somewhere out there in some form, and the Astral Pioneers have this amazing alien like community, and it's just so much fun for alien lovers. So for those of you who are space alien lovers, even if you don't believe right, it's still a fun time and it's a fun story so um we're just gonna go through this project talk about it and to be clear the um we've got greg betts actually the public owner the team is very like there's a couple of people public it seems uh i don't want to say very as in like all of them are but they've got a linkedin as well and um which I'm very impressed with, by the way. Uh, I always find a LinkedIn is a very impressive thing to see. It shows they put in the professional time and uh, time and effort to make sure that they're very clear about what they're doing business-wise. Uh, but the Astral Pioneers is an NFT and metaverse project on the Ethereum blockchain. Collect one of 10,000 AP NFTs to secure your AP sta state, uh, excuse me, states, metaverse land. Two guaranteed spots per AP NFT through a $50,000 APIC airdrop to each AP NFT. There are 30 initial planets in the AP Metaverse with 3,000 AP states per planet. Landowners can mine their land for 15 different ERC-20 resource tokens. Use AP resource tokens to create and build anything you want, minted as NFTs. Resource tokens are burned when you build something with them, giving your creations actual intrinsic value. And then sell your creations on the AP platform as you, as a creator, can also create and sell blueprints, which, you know, this is my favorite part of any crypto project, being able to create and sell your own projects. That way you get to bring your own sort of value of your creations so others can build your designs. Become a citizen of AP with a soul. Uh, excuse me, soulbound token. This allows you to vote on legislation, delegate your vote, propose legislation, run a big and run and become a senator, and vote bills into law. And then the last of the lengthy reading, and I apologize for getting these all done like this, but uh, this is really concise information, and I like how they break it down quickly and easily for you. So that's why I sort of run through it as as you know. Usually, I know I'm, I'm slower on things, but there's also a good bit I want to hit on this pr uh, project before the video ends. So just to give you that uh buy your own newly created planet in three different sizes and sell your own metaverse land from that planet recruit other players to gain representation in the senate which i think that's actually a really fun concept as well uh i, I always love any form of sort of self-governing in a project um and by the way speaking of i should mention please remember this is not financial advice uh, uh you know i'm not a financial advisor purely just a crypto geek who loves to discuss this kind of thing so with that being said don't invest in something just because i talk about it do a modicum of, of your own research uh, but with that being said, I'm really liking this project so far from what I'm seeing. They've got a great roadmap, which I'll get to. They are minting. I will say that's part of why I remembered I wanted to say that because I was going to I was going to show you the mint. So just so you're aware, they are minting now if this is a project that does uh, interest you. Um, so I'm, I'm actually considering buying into this project and, uh, you know, it's not expensive really. That's the thing. It's pretty, it's pretty inexpensive NFT wise. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely considering, uh, that's why I'm discussing this one. They've got a great white paper, um, to go through as well. I'm not really going to do the whole white paper thing. Uh, the GitHub as if you'd like to check out some information through that as well. I know some people enjoy checking those I've seen in the comments. Um, they have their announcements page as well on their Discord, which is all publicly available and everything's easily findable, either down here or at the top. Um, you can see it right here. It's a little bit tough to see over those letters. Sorry, there we go. Um, you see Discord, OpenSea, White Paper. Um, speaking of OpenSea, I'm going to show you that as well. So you can see there are aliens available on the OpenSea, and these are really cool pieces of art. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoy it. I find this kind of thing fun. I'd love to get one of these NFT, and then depending on what I get, have an 
an artist uh, or or just print it you know print it out um, or something like that and put it on my wall because um, that's what I've actually been considering doing with some of my favorite NFT is like uh, getting a printout or getting like an artist recreation putting it on my walls because I love this kind of thing I was I was literally just thinking I was like man I should have something funnier that's alien to make the opening joke and I had a Ben 10 figurine of course accelerate but uh, that's 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 just cool art I just love this and I love the kind of different aliens I love that it's got the you know the interessante vibe as we as we will is what I'll say here on YouTube and uh, yeah um, definitely a lot of fun it seems you can also check them out on Twitter um, where they they're keeping up to date as well if that's preferred I know not everyone likes to get on to discords and stuff like that which is completely fair um, now the roadmap so the roadmap is um, you know it's not too heavy which I totally appreciate because they're not promising a bunch of stuff up front which you know nothing is more problematic than a roadmap that promises things that they can't you know they cannot get to uh in a certain amount of time so basically they're you know the token sale token airdrop to ap address uh at ap nft holders token distribution states nft sale release of the ap metaverse first ap government elections new ap planets available so again they're literally going to make sure that the people are elected before other bigger things happen and then they're eventually going to get to donations so again just the project gives you a good basis of look these are our different seasons these are what we're doing in different seasons so um i think that that's great and that's also not really a promise of like you know uh, I, I'm curious if they mean quarters, but I, I believe it just means in the season of the project, which makes enough sense, because I hate when projects want to rush themselves along, so I really like that about this project, that they seem uh, they seem to be taking their time with it, not, you know, not their sweet time, if you will, but definitely taking their time um, in a... Uh, in a meticulous, uh, litigious is the word I was looking for, litigious manner for a, fa a fancy one. Um, now, you can also check out Malcolm Smith, the artist's website, by the way, who, as I mentioned, I do love his art, so uh, just shout out to him. I would definitely recommend coming and checking him out, give him a follow, because uh, he's got some beautiful art, and I'm a big fan of good artists, uh, as, as they are. Um, they use generative nfts.io for engineering and support uh and that is the project you know at the moment that is that is really the bulk of it as i mentioned there is a great white paper here um and it discusses things in a little bit more detail which i really appreciate they're only using two percent for corporate um and it's got the breakdown for their token right here by the way which i should of course, have uh, gone over a little bit earlier, um, but no worries, I have a minute. I apologize, don't want to keep these videos too long for you. 35% public token sale, which make, that's a good number. 35% AP corporate for the founders. Okay, um, that's fair enough. 35% is right. That's, that's all right. Um, uh, that's for this kind of a project because you have to make money you got to think about that plus corporate doesn't mean just for their the founders and the team to do stuff i'm realizing reading this because they've got uh 20 ap dao charity fund uh, which is cool uh five percent strategic token sale five percent nft holder airdrop so the 35 percent corporate includes payment for the team and um corporate expenses it seems uh, which actually makes a huge amount of sense because you put a lot of money into this you do have to make money back so um just to give you a statistic 25 percent is generally what most businesses are spending or uh, i i feel that i've heard it it's like most businesses spend about that on on employees and you'd of course like to get it lower i'm sure there are industries where it is but um i think that that works to like do you know 25 percent and then add on of course like probably they're even taking well less than 25 percent with the expenses a project like this takes uh to get a you know artist to do that to get these you know all these set all that kind of stuff make the coin is very very long it's not something i would ever want to do um and of course just check out the rest of the information if you'd like to the, talking about the game as well um, but uh, just wanted to touch on this one today, my friends. As always, I really appreciate you coming by to hang out with me at CryptoCoins. My name is Freddie Colton, and I will see you in the next episode.